Well, that's very interesting given that, that we live in this sort of age where there's a snowflake mentality where you can't call people out, you can't put their feet to the fire, you know, you can't you know, put young people under pressure because ultimately you're putting them under pressure and stress becomes part and parcel of their thinking, that they, if they are, if we are to have that narrative, are actually doing something which is quite counterproductive to the well-being of their football club. Well, you look at Arsenal fan TV, what is the, what is the average age of the people moaning and groaning well, like, Under I, 40, I, I have to be they? honest with you, I, I wonder what the average IQ is. Well, I listen to it sometimes <laughs> rather than what the average age is, but that's a different discovery. Oh, well, I, I find it very entertaining. Obviously, yeah. uh, well, only when they lose, of course, because sure. um, it's, it's rather dull when they, when they win. They, everyone's just kind of going, well, I told yeah, you well, so. I told you so, yeah, well done. Yeah. Happy to, happy uh, to and move along, nothing that, to but, see here. But that's the issue, it's the expectation that every team is going to win. And... Uh, Sport. I've got to be careful what I say because I'm, I'm I'm currently up in arms about Spurs. But um, sport means nothing if you know who's going to win in advance. I mean, that's the worst thing about the Leicester result yesterday. I knew Arsenal would get beat. Anybody with brain in the head will see that Arsenal are never going to come out of that game but, unscathed. But I think I think with fans, I think where fans have an absolute nailed on right is everybody understands, even the most. You know, even the most obtuse fan that supports the club with the most partisan bias thinking will understand the team's going to get beat every now and again. But I think where fans have an absolute right to steer into the enraged category mm -hmm. is when they see a performance that doesn't reflect what they're expecting from their side. That's when you get into the territory of fans having a right, when they're being let down by the nature of the way that players perform. Not their, not their ability on the ball, but their application, their determination, their vantage point, their respect for the club that they play for. That's where they do have a right and to be And what's interesting about that is, well, we, and Susan, hang on, we'll get to you next. Um, what's interesting about that is, you know, the stats will still show, oh, they're running, oh, they're passing. And yeah. yet fans... Who watch a lot of football will know it's the way you that's lose. not working. It's the way you it? lose, it's the yeah. way you run, it's the way you put yourself about the pitch.